it may sound like we are asking for you to develop spaceships. No, we're just thinking of how can we even use the things like suction machines and phototherapy machines and the wristband that reads vitals. How can we use that, tweak it a little or improve it to make the health of women better? We have a mandate to make sure we have the highest quality of care for every. I'm not sure how many of you have heard of the word value engineering. I mean, even if you make something very nice and you go with it to Dandu in the southwest of Mandera, I can assure you they will not use it. Even if it is fancy, it's and user centric, but there is no single power source that they can connect that device to it. So ID to market is nice, but it's only nice when it ends up in utilization. So ask yourself indeed those questions and every time connect to the context and connect to who will be using it. We are very, very excited to be here. Personally, I'm always excited to interact with the young guys, being an alumni of the University of Nairobi. Uh, during my time, we didn't have very fancy courses like Megatronics, and, uh, and I've had some very interesting names here. Uh, so I'm very excited and looking forward to interact with all of you. One thing that I always mention is that I'm impressed whenever I see the ladies in STEM, that is uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Mine is just to sort of remind you of who we are doing this for. Um, from an organizational perspective, as you can see, Concern works with the, with the world's poorest to transform their lives. We have been on this journey for more than nine years. And uh, as in terms of the Maker Project, it's now in its seventh year. And why the Maker Project? Working with the poorest means we are in the most remote areas, we are in the most marginalized areas. What I want to do is uh, go back out a bit and uh, look at, from, at a broader, from a broader perspective, where your work is likely to fit into. And so child survival is a core area that we work in. What are the ways that we can support the people in communities, um, improve child survival, reduce child mortality, reduce newborn mortality, and neonatal mortality, and also um, ensure safe um, uh, delivery at, at birth. Focus on risk management, so making this is a bit the black side. Eh? You will lean back and say, Well, now I think I have an excellent idea, and by that time, you're all very passionate to do it. But at a certain moment, you have to think about the risks and what to do about it. One of the most important factors for all these institutions who you saw here is open data, open standard, open innovation is very important. You need innovation due to different reasons. So it does not come out out of nowhere. There is, has to be something that has happened, that has changed, that requires you to innovate. So let's really try and, and interact as much as possible. The, the campus that we're in is a really great campus. It starts off being cool to code like this because of the trees and the warms up. It's got very nice areas to walk in. Even as we're sitting in the training, during the day at some point, take a, a walk, there's um, there a few animals here. The main farm where the animals are is a few kilometers 